I have a terrible way. I'm it's making seriously. my involvement sound like okay. it might have been a <laughs> really good too, but it wasn't. Are you telling me this was that way? Yeah, you were. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're still there. I feel more secure over there. Don't worry. You see, if you can switch We're drifting again, so we can't do this in a I'm sorry. Okay. We're drifting could again. Watch. It's Paradise Hendrickson here for One Caribbean Television, and I'm in the beautiful St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Tobago Keys. I'm on Fantasy Tours, and I'm here with Ken, this amazing man just you, he wanted me to go snorkeling. Can you believe that, people? You know how terrified I am of the water, okay? I, I can't swim. I'm holding on to this guy so tight. It's not even funny. If I go over, he's coming with me. I don't care. Thank you. Do that. Yeah, keep that. My anchor, right? It's paradise here for one Caribbean television. I'm in the beautiful St. Vincent and the Grenadines, my hometown, where I come from. And we're at the Tobago Keys on Fantasy Tours. I'm here with Ken. He's showing us around and telling us um, the history. And you're amazing. Thank you so much for, for introducing us to Tobago Keys and bringing us on this tour. You're welcome. Okay, so can you tell us more a little bit about where we are right now and um, some of the sites that we've seen so far? Well, we currently in Tobio Keys, um, which is also known as the Harsha Reef, the best snorkeling in the Caribbean. Um, also where we have a scene from Pirates of the Caribbean, was flame, petty tabac in the distance um, with the coconut palms. Um, you can't beat anywhere like this. This is the best. So, what, what is snorkeling like? Like, what is it like snorkeling here? Because you tried to get me in there, and I was going to go, but somebody in this boat spoke about what it was someone drowned yeah i was about to go too <laughs> wasn't i i promise yeah right? yeah yeah and she bet she was gonna go and yeah. she she chicken and that out guy over there talking about <laughs> some lady went in she couldn't swim and she drowned or something like that here, here. It, wasn't it wasn't just it was not here and it was not on fantasy tours when, no not with no, ken no, no, with no. ken you're safe yeah man <laughs> yeah man <laughs> We saw, we didn't see much turtles, but there are turtles yes, here? Uh, yes, we, I, I counted yes. over 15, right? 15. We oh, count you went snorkeling? Yes. We counted over, over here. Tell us what is, come over here. Get over here. Yeah, we saw, we saw over 15 turtles, greenback turtles. Oh, yeah. Yes, come, 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 come. This is the only lady that actually got in the water with Ken because when you're wearing a red bathing suit, nothing can happen to you. <laughs> they kept you see, horrible hair. <laughs> Okay, sit up here. Oh, awesome. So what was it like? Snorkeling. Incredible. Yeah, we saw at least 15 turtles. Yeah, it was awesome. We saw probably 15 sea turtles. I held the sea urchin for the first time ever. Starfish. We don't like you anymore. 15 turtles. Yeah, I held the starfish for the first time. A sea urchin. He almost attempted to touch, to pet a turtle. Before it got away. No, it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. sweet. Was that your first time? No, I've snorkeled before. Oh, okay. She's a professional. I have snorkeled with turtles before. But the experience yeah. with Ken was like better than all. I've the never seen 15. I've never okay, seen see? this many. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. That was beautiful. And where are you from? Toronto. Why are you, why are you here? Why am I here? Because uh, St. Vincent is gorgeous, yeah. but I'm also doing a story yeah, as well. Story. Yes. So far, so so far, so good. So good. So far, yeah. so great. No complaints. Yeah, we went to OES the salt ponds. Incredible scenery. It almost looked like you were in Hawaii with all the volcanic rock, naturally formed. Airport opening, yeah. first time. Yeah, St. Vincent. We were on the flight together, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. How, what was that like when everybody started to scream? The, the flight was really noisy towards the end. Everybody was screaming and yelling when we um, landed at the airport orga. Most enthusiastic yeah. flight I've ever been on. <laughs> people were singing, people were crying. The anthem, we said. Yeah. There was no one was getting sleep on that flight. <laughs> Emotional roller coaster because it's our you know first international 
airport and we've been Vinci to the bone Vinci to the bone yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean for you now that we have our first international airport does that mean you get to see more tourists more people coming from around the world are you looking forward to that yes I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to that um, we we needed it you know um, this is what we can call our own we don't have to be waiting in another island such as Barbados for four and six hours um, a lot of Vincentian know now that they can have a cheaper flight home so that they can visit more often, get here sooner. And I've spoken to quite a lot of um, clients on board and some of them um, mentioned this is the reason why they never came before because getting here was such um, a problem. So now we do, that is out of the way. I'm hoping that tourism, we're going to see a boom in tourism. Um, we can do with that, so I'm very happy. So how do you think, because I heard you speaking before, give us um, your advice or opinion. How do you think we should get the message out there so we can bring more people in? What do you think we should do? Well, for one, my personal opinion um, is that some businesses need to rethink, yes. rethink on the prices for their commodity. Yes. Um, staying here um, for us to attract more tourists, some of the um, room prices could go down a bit right. so that we can attract more um, more activities need to be introduced and a, a lot, quite, quite some more and it's just that you need the person, you need the investors because sometimes the ideas are there, persons have the ideas but it is the, um, the, the, the money to, to do it all, that is that's is what needed, yeah. Because um, I know you have a lot of ideas. I don't want you to share it because people just steal it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just stop right there. You keep your dream alive. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, please come down to St. Vincent and the Grandies. Where are we heading to next, Ken? Because we're all, we look exhausted. And um, well, you look beautiful. So she's not exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> she's not exhausted. <laughs> no, but From here, we're going to Union Island, um, Big Sand Beach for lunch. And then um, we, it's a very nice beach, restaurant sitting on the beach. From there, we're going to Myro South Whistler Bay, the best beach for me in the Caribbean. As, as a matter of fact, some organizations ranked, it used to be ranked as being the best beach. Um, hurricane destroyed um, some of the beach, so it's no longer the, the ranking, but there are persons who still claim it as their best beach. Why, is so, why would it be the best beach? You have places to eat, you have lots of shades. You white sand beach, crystal clear water, very calm water. For you who can't swim, you can just step in <laughs> and you can still see your toes. <laughs> I love my toes, yes, I want to see my toes. <laughs> okay, so we have some other gentlemen here who actually went in also snorkeling. Introduce yourself. My name is Marlon Joseph and I am the hospitality officer at the SVG Tourism Authority. Wow, what a nice title. <laughs> <laughs> yes, say it again. <laughs> I enjoy I enjoy hosting. Yes. Uh, you know, and I, I always I enjoy my job because I get to share St. Vincent and the Grenadines with the rest of the world. And it's a combination of two passions because I love my country and I enjoy meeting new people and I just enjoy speaking about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You know, so the Tobago Keys Marine Park, and as I can put it as well as Ken did, you know, but it is one of the most spectacular places, you know, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. You just look outside and you see the different shades of green and blue, I mean, the different hues. It's just, it's just amazing. And um, I snorkeled. Uh, I saw just one turtle. I, I didn't get to see. You guys had all the turtles. You guys had all. Hello. Oh, you're selfish. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but but I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy and I'm, I'm glad to have you guys with us aboard. You know, this weekend. Well, this week has been an, an historic call week for us in Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, having inaugurated the Argyle International Airport, uh, a project that for us is more than just, means more to us than just being a physical facility. I think it represents our resolve as a people, you know, to overcome challenges. When you consider all that we had to do to achieve that dream, or to turn in that dream into reality, you know, it speaks volumes of the resilience of the Vincentian people. 
and it's a source of pride for us. So it's there, but apart from the tangible benefits in terms of tourism development and facilitating trade and commerce, but the symbolism of it, you know, it, it, it means a lot to us. In centuries, our progress came incrementally, but inexorably, one truckload of dirt at a time. Yes, you know, we had to remove three mountains, we had to fill a valley, we had to span a river just to construct an international airport. And we did so at a time when the world was undergoing one of its worst economic crises ever. So it says a lot about us as a people. Small, but we're strong. We're amazing. And thank you. That was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I can't get to you because there's no way I'm even going to try. I'm not letting go of Ken. <laughs> She's <scared>. yeah. <laughs> For my sunset. I, I can't let go of my sunset yet. Okay. Oh, sunsets. Okay, so introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Barry Prince. For those of you who don't know me, I just jump from one ship to the next. That's what we do in St. Vincent. We could, we could do island hopping and ship hopping. <laughs> so um, I'm enjoying this beautiful day. It's a, a really nice day for sailing and snorkeling and diving. Um, I, I really wanted to be a part of history, to be um, one of the first flight that came in from JFK. I was on that flight, nice. along with a lot of our fellow friends here that came down on that flight. And it was, it, to me, it was surreal. It was uh, awesome. Words, you know, you, 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 you could start putting adjectives together, but then you have to be there in the moment to really enjoy and to feel it, you know, um, to see that plane. Um, but first of all, when you start to see the, the coastline of St. Vincent. for his descent and with, with that descent it, it, it went right over the Grenadian Islands oh you, you could have almost see people cooking in Bekwe <laughs> 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 you talk about seeing the, the, the beautiful water you know coming over Bekwe and then line up to the International Airport in Argyle it was and then the, the, the landing was so smooth you know it, it's, it's really nice well, oh man! Well, you, you talk about people lining. I, I, in my estimation, I would say about forty to fifty thousand people. Saint Vincent, Saint Vincent is about a hundred and, and nine thousand there about. But I would think that half of Saint Vincent was there, uh, excluding the Grenadines Islands who couldn't get there. But I mean, a lot, a lot of people were there to witness this firsthand. So it was, it was awesome. It's. The prime, oh, the prime minister. We got the prime minister to come on our plane. Oh, yeah, yes, uh, the honourable Dr. Rob Gonsav, um He came um, when our flight touched down, and he came aboard. And we also had um, um, the minister of tourism was there, and um, we also have the consul general was on board. So why was this? Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, they, always, they, they, they threw water, water on you. Well, they, 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 they salute the. Um, all the, the new arrival for international christening. Yes, yeah, more like a baptism. But it's, it's, it's you just wet me. <laughs> I would have been pissed. I would have been pissed. <laughs> really? I'm going back home now. <laughs>
have so, a nice water salute. And um, the, the, the sea of, of, of patriotism that was there to witness this was, was unbelievable. It was out of this world. And you know, for four hours from New York to St. Vincent, you can't beat that without going into any of the other Caribbean islands. I'm not really trying to knock them, but they need to be knocked because, I mean, they really, they really, really didn't, they don't do Vincent and justice. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. Why was it so important? Because people are like, why do you need your international airport? You were with Liat. That was fine. You got to, you know, the island. What were some of the struggles and the, the negative aspects of having to island hop before we can get here? Like in well, well, you see, if, if, you, if you're a frequent traveler, then you would have known that Liat and the, um, the symbol in which they stand for, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of you know, names for them besides Leeward Island Air Transport. Late on arrival, <laughs> leave, leave your luggage behind. <laughs> Being there. <laughs> so, and, and, then, and then when you get to the different um, custom agencies and um, immigration um, officers in the different, um, or the Trinidad, um, St. Lucia, Barbados, wherever, um, they don't really treat us like we are part of the um, CARICOM. They, they, you know, they, they, they are, when it comes to getting monies from world banks and different things, then they are, yeah, they are carry come then. But when, you, when you're traveling, they don't really give you that kind of respect like you're really a part of the, the um, carry come. And, uh, but so, yeah, so we, we always have a hard time coming into these islands because they treat us. Yeah. Well, well, they're going to miss us though. They're going to miss us, yeah. They're going to be like, we should have treated those guys a lot better. I, now, I wouldn't be missing them. I wouldn't be missing them. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I wouldn't be missing them. Well, guys, um, thanks for spending some time with me. You guys are amazing people. I couldn't be on a much friendlier boat with um, so much love because St. Vincent and Grandines is all about love. I, I wish that people know that this island, these islands are about love. If you want love, if you want to respect. You know, we say good morning. It doesn't matter where you are, you hear good morning, good morning, We're f good evening, good afternoon, yeah. We're full of love, and I hope we stay that way. Now that we have an international airport, a lot of people are going to be coming in. But I hope we keep the core of who we are, because that's very important. We don't want to lose that. Welcome to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, one and all. <laughs> Everybody on the boat, say hi. Just the let you know. <laughs> so the executive decision is no. Yes. Not that day. And I wanted to. Oh, darn. I'll see. <laughs> but I've made, I've made an executive decision, so she just can't go. Yeah, Even though she wanted to. So just she wanted to. I was actually going, though. Like, you you look like you're about to go. I'm telling you, she's ready to go. Until or was that just your acting yeah. skills? No, no, I really want to. And when the plane touched down, the whole place shut down. Shut Stay tuned for Kiss of Paradise, our YouTube channel. I'll be posting all my experience and um, more. Okay, so subscribe and like, subscribe and like, subscribe and like. Kian Cordis, defender. Chief. Tyler Pompey, um, defender. <laughs> Chrissy, at midfielder. Daniel Sneer, striker. Dario, a defender. defender. Nick, striker. Richie, midfielder. Jevon Williams, keeper. Adrian Lewis, defender. Nickel Sulavi, defender. Luciano Boyens, midfielder. Boy Breezy, striker. 
Ask me, Gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Giovanni Batiste, defender. Eric C. Johnson, midfielder. AKA top defender. You said that Eric Patterson, midfielder. Hey, Scotty, striker. Last to love a midfielder. Jamal Lavi, midfielder. Three. Over United! Football club! <laughs> yes!